Hello, everybody. I am Pastor Terry Roberts, and I'm doing a short series of, of lessons on how to stay healthy as a Christian. Of course, we assume as a in your Christian life, you're reading the Bible, you're doing the things that you need to do. And then we talked about um, staying on mission last time, making your calling and election sure. Paul talks about prioritizing, taking care of your spiritual life first. Just like whenever something it happens to an airplane, the oxygen falls out of the ceiling. It says, put your mask on first before you help others. And that's so that you don't pass out before you can help others. So it's very important to take heed to yourself. Paul said in Acts 20, talking to the Ephesian elders, put the priority of your own spiritual life and your relational life where it needs to be. Prioritize things and you can take care of people better if you're healthy. I think it's so important to focus on health. It's not just physical health, but it's spiritual health. It's emotional health. Paul even talks about healthy doctrine. So health is a biblical word. Health is God's will for you. So we got into last week a little bit, or last time, a little bit about uh, how to provide leadership in whatever setting you're in. And uh, the first one is prophetic leadership. Provide prophetic leadership. Prophetic leadership is when you're seeking the Lord and you're following God. You know, the Bible says in Matthew 4, 4, the man doesn't live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds from the mouth of God or every word that is proceeding, the word of God that is coming from, from the mouth of God. And the Bible says today, if you hear his voice, don't harden your heart. The point there is this. God is speaking prophetically. He's directing your life. And you live by that prophetic word that comes. You know, the Bible says when the Holy Spirit comes, he will show you things to come. And so it's not just leading by studying, you know, um, outlines of the Bible, but actually seeking the Lord, saying, Lord, what are you saying? Holy Spirit, what are you saying to this people? It might just be a Bible study, but he might uh, emphasize something or, or minimize something. And so it's very specific to the situation you're in. If you just, uh, in a cold and calculated way, just kind of spout out truth without life, the words can kill. Uh, the Spirit gives life, but the letter brings death. And the letter kills, but the Spirit brings life. And so the point is, if you're going to be effective as a leader, you need to know the Word of God, but you also need to know the Spirit of God, and you also need to be able to bring life to that. So that's prophetic leadership. In the context of leading a church, uh, you don't just preach on anything. You say, God, what are you saying? What is the Spirit of God saying? The Bible says in the Revelations, he that has ears, so they hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. And so you may be doing a series but let God direct that series. Let God interrupt you. Let God add his personalization and uniqueness to what you're saying. The Bible says anyone that speaks should speak as the oracles of God. It's so important that you listen to the voice of God. I think I can say honestly that I have not delivered sermons as effectively as I could and should have. And there's no question I could have done a better job. But I'm very confident that I've taken the time to listen to what God is saying. You know, I'd rather have the right message delivered wrongly than the wrong message delivered perfectly. And so it's, it's so important to hear what God is saying. Prophetic leadership is, where is God going? What is he saying? Versus passive leadership. Passive leadership is like the politician who just takes a poll, sees what everybody wants, and then instead of following God, he just follows the people. Passive leadership is when the people are leading you. Passive leadership is when you're just waiting to see what everybody wants and what they like, and you don't do anything controversial because you don't want to upset anybody, and so you just keep going on doing what you need to do. It's kind of like taking a survey. The, the politicians would take a survey, and then they would say, tell me what to do. Well, we don't elect people, hopefully, to just take surveys and do what we want. We want some leadership. We want some statesmanship. In the same way, God wants you to use prophetic leadership to follow him, not passive leadership to follow people. And then lastly is performance leadership. This is a big one where people just simply project a good message. It's easy to do a performance so that everything looks right and everything goes right, but it doesn't change lives. You know, information should become revelation, which leads to transformation. I'll say that again. Information in your head should become revelation in your heart, which leads to transformation in your life. And so performance leadership simply does everything right and looks good, but it's not bringing transformation. Again, I'd rather do it a little bit wrong and stutter a little bit, but bring life as to do everything perfect 
but not have the word of God or that people at that time. So don't follow people first, follow God first. Prophetic leadership, not passive leadership, not performance leadership. God bless you guys. Thank you so much for listening. I'm Pastor Terry Roberts. See you next time.